Hello YouTube, this is Undead93 with another anime review coming right back at you. So, this uh, this week I will be reviewing anime that I enjoy. I also enjoy its manga counterpart, which I actually read entirely. So there will be a manga thing. And there will be a manga quarter, corner as well as this week. So, look forward to that. Yeah, um... So, the anime I will be reviewing this week is Ayuri Yoshi. Yes, very, very provocative picture of Lady Aoi. So, yeah, she usually would not look like this. Yeah, I don't think she looks like this throughout any of the show or through the manga. Yeah, so yeah, if this some other female from the show. She, yeah, it shouldn't have been any other female. She should have just had it or be conservatively, but they had to track people who don't know this anime that well. So pretty much, uh, the plot of this anime, uh, I should really stop showing the cover, I'll just go with the back, um, is pretty much, you have pretty much lovers who are separated, who is Aoi Sakuraba, and Kaoru Hanabishi, and pretty much they were separated because of Kaoru's family's douche nozzle, and his, his grandfather is a complete a-hole, and it's like, hey, if you don't do all this shit and forget about your mother, and all blah, 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 then stop. He's like, fuck this shit, I'm leaving. He leaves, and he goes to college and shit, and... Then Lady Aoi literally finds him, and then um, they're pretty much like, hey, we're going to pretty much be together, and then a whole bunch of other stuff happens. Um, so that is pretty much the plot, pretty much building up their relationship with also like, all the other girls, um, which is quite interesting. Um, whereas let me go over the characters, because I really like most she, I like all, mostly all the characters in the show. You have uh, Lady Aoi, who is pretty much your, like, traditional lady. Or traditional Japanese lady. Which I quite enjoy her, because she pretty much shows it, the side that I don't see much in pretty much any people who are pretty much... Yeah, I, I like how I am, but I also like how my partner is. That is something I hate in society today. It's like, hey, you have to be like every other damn person. But with these two, it's like, hey, I accept Aoi for how she is and her and what uh, what she's been through. And Lady Aoi is able to come to terms with what Karu has been through. Is able to uh, dampen their relationship with uh, with their character development. Um, Karu's kind of a regular guy. He has a lot of baggage from back in the day. It's kind of it. But, yeah, this is a pseudo-harem series. The reason I say that is because kind of is a harem, but kind of isn't. I mean, I don't want it to be a harem, but also in the manga it is a harem, so... But Lady Aoi is always the primary focus. Then you have other characters... Also, this anime has my favorite uh, voice actress, which is Michelle Ruff. She is awesome. Just saying. Keep voicing characters, Michelle Ruff. You're awesome. Unless when unless you're in Deers, but that whole anime is horrible. But you're my favorite character in that whole anime, so keep going at it. You're the best character in a really crappy anime I liked, so doing something right. Then you have uh, Tina, uh, who's pretty much... Uh, she's American, I'm guessing, and she likes to drink beer and all this other stuff. She's pretty much, she's pretty much kind of like that party girl, essentially. Then you have, um, you yeah, know, the other girls are kind of hard to remember their names. Um, then you have, uh, then you have Miyabi, who's pretty much, pretty much like the giant divider between, um, Lady Aoi and Karu, but it makes sense because 
Lady Aoi is pretty much, um, she has, like, she has a status, and if that gets out that, hey, she's with somebody who used to be with status but isn't because of the such and such, it would ruin the Sakuraba family, which makes sense. Then you have uh, Mayu, who is probably my second favorite character of this whole thing, she, because she she has an interesting chemistry with Karu because pretty much they had to uh, they clicked when she when she pretty much he was there when her parents weren't because their parents are always working and all this other shit. Then you have um, two other characters which are Chika Chan and her cousin. I forget her name. I'm just going to call her Mimi from Digimon because she sounds exactly like Mimi from Digimon. Uh, except she's like a maid. So, maid Mimi. So, her. Yeah, she's, she's just mainly there for comic relief. And they have Chica who's mainly there for comic relief too. Unless she's in the manga, but I'll get to that when I get to that. Um, but I, I quite enjoy this anime. If you... Um, the only thing I didn't like in this anime was pretty much after episode four, because pretty much the, like the first four episodes are awesome. Then after that, it starts adding everybody else in. It's like, hey, we're adding in Tina and everybody else. And it's like, yeah, we were having this such awesome romantic plot, but now we have to add everybody else and their shenanigans. But it's still enjoyable. Um, it it whole it held. It holds it, uh, it holds itself okay against its manga counterpart, but not superly well because they yeah, had to change a lot of stuff. Like there's not the same ending, but I'll get to that when I get to that. But uh, if I was to rate this um, uh, from one to ten, I would probably give it an eight point five. I really enjoyed this series. Um, Lady Aoi is one of my favorite female characters, mainly due to her um, being calm and collected, and she she has her moments when she kind of like fanboys over or fangirls over Karu, but it makes sense she is his fiance and such, and she's pretty much been preparing her whole fucking life for to get married to the dude. So yeah, she should make sense. So um, if if you wish to watch this anime, um, I think Funimation has both seasons on their website, I think. If you wish, you can watch it, and then I will most likely put up the manga review tomorrow, since, um, stuff. So, uh, thank you all for watching, and... I will see you all tomorrow for my manga corner for Ayuri Yoshi. The only bad thing is I don't own any of them. I wish I did because it's a really great series. So thank you all for watching and goodbye.